Welcome to the fourth reading wrap-up video for this year. Uh, I'm going to be talking about books that I read in July and August. Let's just get into it. So the first book I read in the last two months was Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling and John Tiffany and Jack Thorne. Obviously you've heard of this if you are even adjacent to the Harry Potter fandom. Um, and a lot of people really didn't like it, uh, as far as my YouTube subscription box says. Um, I thought it was fine, though. I thought it was interesting. I mean, it's a play. It's not a book, so it's going to be very different. And a lot of people said it was kind of fan fiction-y, and I can see exactly why they said that. But I enjoyed it. I had fun. I would love to see it perform live or there's rumors of a possible film. I really like that it started off where the very last book left off, like, and there was a little overlap there. That was, that was cool. I enjoyed that a lot. I read Flawed by Celia Hearn. I'm not going to talk too much about this book because I did an entire book review video uh, a few weeks ago. This was one of the booktube tour books, the second one I've done for booktube tours. And it's really cool because I'm reading books that I probably would have never randomly picked up. And I liked it. It was it was a good experience. I recommend it. I read another Sailor Moon manga. Of course, this is number four. I mean, I've seen the show and the manga progresses so much faster. And because of that, it kind of leaves out a lot of details. And the character progression is so sped up that I don't know if I think I like the show more. But, but this is really cool and the art's just beautiful, so I'm going to continue collecting these. Another comic, Serenity, Those Left Behind. This is a reread. I read this when I first originally got it back in college. Um, it says one on the spine, meaning I believe there are others, but I've never seen nor read any others. This takes place, I believe chronologically, in between the end of the series, Firefly, and the film which is Serenity. Should I look for more of these? I've packed away my Funko Pops, but I do have a Kaylee Funko Pop because Kaylee is great. And I've cosplayed as her before. So that's, she's, I like her a lot. Once a spaceship's mechanic, always a spaceship's mechanic. Angel State. <sighs> Next is Mean Girls Club by Ryan Heshka. This is a no-brow publication. My friend who works there, Jeff, gave it to me. Um. It's cool. They're just very mean. And the art's really, really fantastic. Archie Snufflekin's Oliver Valentine Cupcake Tiberius by Katie Harnett. Uh, and this is a Flying Eye Books, which is the children's book subset of No Brow. So this is another present from Jeff. And it's a cat. And it's about a cat who is friends with a ton of people and he kind of brings people together um, and I love I love stories about cats that help people make friends <laughs> look at it so cute oh I was like flipped a random page of how cute this kitty is it's just so cute oh my gosh and last but not least is Dinner the Playbook by Jenny Rosenstratch this was a book that was given to all the attendees of the Etsy app conference in New York City, which I attended uh, recently. Um, we got three books and each of the books, the authors did a keynote. So that's kind of why. And it's interesting. I read it all in a day. <laughs> it was a weird day. Um, and it's not just recipes in here. Like there's a lot of um, stories and basically like instructions for how to be more adventurous in your cooking. And a lot of it is also how to get picky eater kids to be more adventurous in eating. And there's a challenge to do 30 days of new recipes. Even if you have a full-time job and your partner has a full-time job and your kids are picky eaters, you can make it happen. Oh no, salad is in a pickle. Cheese souffle is not a recipe in here. Apparently I need a crock pot. Let me know in the comments if you have any book recommendations for me. I'm always looking for new stuff to put on my list. I actually do have a big TBR pile of books here, so I don't know when I'll get around to them, but I love adding to my list on Goodreads so that if I'm ever in the mood to get something new. Also, I just got a library card, so 
it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed and then we can hang out and if you want to support me even more you can do so on patreon oh look i'm promoting it apparently i've been told i don't tell people enough that i have one of those so now i'm telling you have a good day but no pressure if you don't i'm gonna go see if there's a new steven universe episode out or girl meets world one of those two okay bye Meow.